Rosa and I spent some time in France. We really saw a house in a little town called Volou on the Mediterranean and she loved it and we sat on a beach for maybe an hour or two and said, where are we going to live when we retired? So the deal I made with her was, I will make you Balu in Arizona. Unfortunately, here in Arizona, most things were Spanish or, or, or maybe even country French, and that's not what we wanted. So when we saw this house, it was sort of a Santa Barbara house, and it uh, was something we could say, we, this will do, but we'd have to fix it. So we spent the last uh, many years uh, changing the house from what it started to to what it is today. Our, our home is situated on Cheney Drive, which is one of the best parts of the village of Paradise Valley. When you approach the house, it was meant to be like approaching a, a, a grand estate in France. You, we have uh, a grand gate and entrance, and, and so you approach the, uh, the house and enter into the portico. Our property rivals any property you ever see in Arizona, whether it's commercial or residential. The first thing we did was look at the garden. Um, we knew the garden would take a long time. It, it took us perhaps seven years uh, to build a French garden in Arizona. I mean, you, they don't sell these long square bushes anywhere. This house has such a French influence that if you came here and you closed your eyes, you didn't know where you were, you'd think you're in France. And that was the intention. That was the, the true purpose of starting this. And, and everything in it, around it, outside of it is, is meant to do that. The home has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a little over 7,000 square feet. The lady of the house has total influence over this. Well, my wife loves to cook. And so the kitchen was important. It, it was something that had to be a French kitchen and it had to have enough equipment in order for her to do these French meals that, uh, and, and if you look at me, you can see that I am a, I'm an example. It truly is a chef's kitchen. We entertain all the time. Uh, we have a big family, our children are here, and so the house is always full of people. And it's a house that, that not only the inside, but the outside of the house uh, can we can we've had parties with uh, 70, 80 people in the in the on the patio, and it truly, in, especially in the spring and fall, it's a delightful place to entertain. And all this is complemented by the amazing views we have by our backyard. We have a pool, we have a spa, we have a garden outside. There's a lot of places that you can you can spend time here and get away from the real world and, and read a book and, and enjoy the, the ambiance of the property, enjoying a nice glass of French wine. I know that anybody who would buy this home would, would truly love it as much and, and spend their days here as happy as we have in our home.